Bin was young when she got married. She was a Christian, but her family began to pressure her to change her beliefs. They employed witch doctors from the village to try to torment her. Soon, her family began to break down. When she got pregnant and had a son, she went to the city in search of a better life for her family. They worked hard trying to build a new life for themselves, but it wasn't enough. One day, Bin came home from work and knew it was over. Her husband had left her eight-month-old son abandoned and alone in the apartment. He had taken all of his things and moved out without a word. He was gone for good this time. She had no one, no family who cared, no husband, no one to help her provide for herself and her baby. She had lost all hope and reason to live. She sat down and wrote a note to her son. Then she began to fashion a rope for herself. She secured the rope and got ready to end all the pain. It was then that the phone rang. A friend had given her number to our team. Bin was getting another chance. They introduced her to a God who cared, gave her hope and gave her a way to make a life for herself and her baby. Bin found restoration that day. Her journey of healing, hope and wholeness is just one of many. Lives are being transformed and made whole through Sozo Life. We want to bring this salvation to the lost, the broken, the ones who think they have no choice. And that is why Sozo Life exists. We are seeing unreached tribes come to faith in Jesus. We are seeing families restored to wholeness. We are seeing youth delivered from bondage and generational captivity. Salvation in Jesus brings transformation to every area of life. <laughs>